hello students today in this video we will solve our exercise 9.2 so the first question is what draw a four-sided polygon and shade its interior okay so what was a polygon we have discussed in the previous video if you don't watch the video the link is in description so go and watch so what is a polygon polygon is a what polygon is a uh, there are four-sided polygon right so four-sided polygon is what a, a four-sided closed figure okay so this is what this is a closed figure right it is no openings right so this is what a polygon and what we have to draw we have to shade its interior okay so we have drawn a four-sided polygon okay give uh, uh, we can give name it what a b c and d okay and then what we have to do we have to shade it so we have shade it so uh, the answer is what it is a required four sided polygon okay so this is the what this is the required answer for the your first question okay second one is what consider the adjacent figure and answer the following questions so our second question is what consider the adjacent figure and answer the following questions okay what we have to do we have to consider this figure okay so what is the first question is this a close is the is the figure closed here okay what is a closed figure uh i already told that it is what same ending and starting one suppose this is studied from this so it has what is is had uh, is this figure has any opening no this figure has no no opening so this is a closed figure right so yes it is a closed figure next what is it a curve okay what is the definition of a curve curve is what uh we uh, uh curve is what uh, we can draw any shape without lifting the what without lifting our pen or pencil so we can draw this figure without lifting our pen or pencil right so yes this is a curve can you draw this figure yes we can draw this here so it will be curve okay now can um, can we call it a polygon okay what is a polygon what polygon uh, are the what close figure which have uh, more than three sides okay now see uh, this is also a closed figure right as in first figure we have concluded that what is this this is a closed figure now it is what it is more than three sides also look there is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten it is ten sides right so yes we can call it a polygon it has ten sides so it is what it is what decagon okay now the third one name the line segments in the figure is p and uh, is p the end point of each line segment okay so what is a line segment a line segment is what a line segment is a part of a line or a segment of a line okay okay now here what are the line segments here p uh, pq pq and p are what p are the line segments okay yes p is the end point of each line segment okay now come to our fourth question okay what is the fourth question count the number of the line segment in each of the following figure okay so there is there are how many figures three figures what we have to do we have to what count the line segments and name them okay we have to write the names of the line segment so here is what first figure the a b c d okay and there is what another uh, line segment okay so how many line segments are there look there is one line segment this b c another line segment two this is what three this is what four okay now look bd is also another line segment right so this is what five and dc another line segment six okay so there are six line segments there a b then b c then c a then a d right then b d one line segment right then this is what suppose consider consider you consider this bcs line okay now uh, uh if we take a portion of this line so this will be one this will be line segment okay this is another portion okay this will be another line segment okay this means segment of segments so bd and dc are also what line segments comes to our second figure okay so here, here we have to find what how many line segments are there so let us count ab1 bc2 dc3 da4 okay now this is what sc this is also a diagonal 5 db another diagonal six so how many line segments are there there are six line segments there a b b c c d d a a c and db okay now the third okay this is what this is what a b c one triangle uh d e f another triangle and we know in triangle we have how many sides three sides and as there are two uh, two triangles so definitely it will be how many how many sides six sides okay okay let us count a b one right bc 2 3 then 4 5 
six. There are also six line segments. There are A, B, B, C, C, A, D, E, E, F, and F, D. Okay. Now, the fifth question. What is the difference between a line and a line segment? Okay. In our first video of this of this chapter number six, we have discussed what is a line and what is a line segment. A line was what? A line was a collection of points in different points. Okay. And 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 line segment was line segment was a part of a line. Okay, bounded by two distinct points. So can we write like this? A line is a collection of points which can be extended indefinitely in both directions. Whereas a line segment is a part of a line that is bounded by two distinct points. Okay, this is what this is line segments, and we have given what arrowhead. This represents what this uh, uh this line can goes through this direction also, and this represents what this line can go in through this direction also. Now this is what this is line segment, and as look there is what. Two points, okay. Uh, that means what? A, a line segment, what? Line segment is bounded by two distinct points, okay. We don't give, we don't give arrowhead in line segments, okay. Now the sixth question. <coughs> in each of the following cases, state whether you can draw a line segment on the given surface, okay. First one is what cone. Cone is what? Can we draw a, a surface on the cone? Okay, let me show you a cone. So what? This is a cone. Okay, can we draw a uh, uh, line segment on the surface? No, we cannot draw a line segment on the surface. Okay, so we can we write no, we cannot draw a line segment on the curved surface of a cone. Okay, next one is what? Next is what on the face of a cuboid. Okay, yes, cuboid is in uh, flat flat surface, right? So we can draw a line segment on the face of a cuboid like this. The base of a cone. What is the base of a cone? Base. Okay, let me show you uh, uh, the base of a cone this is cone right this is cone right so what is the base this is the base okay we can draw a line segment on the base uh, surface right so so we can draw a uh, so we can draw a line segment on the base of the cone now the surface of a neck can we draw a surface on the uh, draw a line segment on the surface of a neck egg is uh, uh, so no we cannot draw a line segment on the surface of a egg because it is what because it is you know, spherical in shape right okay now the la, uh, the on the surface of an orange uh, as we can uh, orange is also in what spherical in shape so we cannot draw a line segment on the surface of an orange also now the seventh question how many line can pass through one given point look here i have given one point and name it suppose at uh, point p so how many lines can pass there are, i have drawn only how many lines a line m l m n of you one two three four we, uh, we can draw infinite number of lines suppose uh, another line can pass through like this like this okay we can draw infinite number of lines through one point okay next is what two given points uh, we can draw uh yes this it is a property of a line okay we can draw only one line through two given points okay so the next one is what next and then it will be the what last one so uh, last question is what name the points which are on the which are first one is what in the exterior exterior means what outside okay which are which are the point on the exterior point p x z u so points p x z we are on the exterior okay now in the interior the interior means what inside so which are the points 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 q w o t are right these are what these are inside the circle oh last one is what which uh points which is around the boundary of the circle okay boundary of the figure so which are the points on the figure point u and point s are on the boundary of this figure so we have written what point u and s so with this we will conclude our chapter that is chapter number nine basic geometrical ideas if you have any doubt regarding the questions you can ask me in the comment section okay thank you